Hey everybody, so Life Lesson Friday for January 5th, 2024. Uh, and this is going to be a big year for me. I already know it because um, I'm going to turn 50, which that's usually a big year for everybody when they turn 50. That's a big number, right? Uh, so I'm going to turn 50 in the middle of the year. Um, you know, I've got about a little less than six months to go. But the other thing is that like ever since I was a little kid, um, my, uh, favorite number has been 24. And so the year of 2024, I know is going to be a big year for me. And why that number has always been my favorite number is because the first Jersey I ever got was Cowboys Jersey for Everson Walls. Um, I must've been, I don't know, five or six years old. I, I don't know. I could have been older than that, but it, it had to have been really early because, as soon as I got the check, or as soon as I got the opportunity to pick my number, my jersey number in soccer, I picked 24. And then I was 24 forever. Um, and that was, uh, I think, second grade. So, uh, you know, it's a big year for me. And the best way to start the year off is to be authentic. And that's the best way to be every day really and so that's the life lesson for today is to be authentic be who you are like be your authentic self don't do the things that don't showcase who you are right like be authentic do the things that you love to do be around the people that you love to be around like, I know that there's situations that we're all in and we're all put in where those things can't happen, right? Because if I'm only going to do the things I love to do, I'm never going to pay the bills because I don't love to pay the bills, right? So there's certain things we have to do that's just a part of life. But the majority of the time, we control what goes, on our, goes in on our life. Like, we control the majority of our life and when we give that away because we're not authentic to who we want to be and we're not authentically showing the world who we are then of course we get to the end of the day and say oh that was a horrible day I didn't like any of that I didn't want it that that just stressed me out it's not what I wanted to do what am I doing with my life what am I you know what do I want to be when I grow up even though I'm about to be 50 you know like all these things that we've all said at some point because when you look back for whatever reason that day or that time period you were not being your authentic self and so when we are true to who we are when we're true to who we are inside what we value what we believe when we live those things out people see it People are attracted to it. You're going to attract your people, right? I was on a call today, and that's what they, one of the things they were talking about is like, you're going to attract your people in business. And so the goal is not to, like, very few people, very few ideas, very few companies in the world hit that thing that all of a sudden everybody wants and everybody has to have. The majority of the world when it comes to business is you're trying to find your small segment of people that believe in what you've got and trust in what you've got and fit in with those values around whatever you're trying to do. And so nobody's going to know any of that stuff if you're not authentic about who you are. Right. And I've seen this so many times in the coaching world where coaches try to get their athletes to do things and their athletes are like, I don't believe in you. I don't trust you. I don't want to do that. I don't want to. Why are you trying to tell me? Because the coach is not being authentic to who they are. They're just trying to follow a plan that somebody else created that worked for them. And so they're trying to imitate it and mimic it instead of being authentic about who they are and the plan that they're trying to put into place. And oftentimes when they are authentic and they do put in that plan that works you can take the same team that's struggled to figure things out that hasn't meshed that has been unsuccessful 
And all of a sudden, you see this dramatic turnaround. And typically, all that is, is that the leader was authentic with what's going on. So um, be authentic. Be who you are. Trust that that's going to be okay. And trust that your people are going to come around you and support you and lift you up. So that's the Life Lesson Friday. It's the first Life Lesson, life lesson Friday for 2024.